Think about it. If you're reading a book and you know the ending, if you're watching a movie and you know the ending, you have an advantage over everybody else who doesn't know the ending. We know how these pumps end. Every single one of them. What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here. Um, we have a very useful chart because this is a, a psychological chart of how many investors and traders uh, act in the stock market. And a lot of you don't understand that, you know, it might not be an exact science with what I teach, like every play can be slightly different, but it's all based on human psychology. The reason why my stuff works better with low price stocks, with penny stocks, is because we're not dealing with any big hedge funds, no real algorithmic traders. Um, most of my niche is composed of promoters and suckers. And the promoters promote to the suckers and the suckers don't know they're promoted to and they're following the same path over and over again. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see me get angry at, at promoters when they're lying to the suckers. Um, literally, it happens every time. And this really describes um, so much about penny stocks, although I wouldn't even say that, that penny stocks bounce this much. It's, it's mainly this. Um, but this is basically what happens you know, when there's a new trader, when there's a new investor, they don't realize that 90% of traders lose. They don't realize that 70% of investors fail to beat the S&P 500 every year, which goes up a lousy eight to 10%. If you want eight to 10% returns, I would say just do S&P 500. If you have a small account though, let's say you have $2,000 making maybe $200 a year, it's not even worth it. Uh, especially lately, the S&P 500 isn't up eight to 10% every year. In 2022 is down like 25%. So that's like three bad years. Um, I'm not a big believer in long-term investing, especially for small accounts, but I'm just telling you what optimism is all about. Most people think that they're just gonna do well. They hear others uh, doing well. No one really talks about their losses. They don't do statistical research on how bad of a market this is. As I often say, if that E-Trade baby in the commercials were a real thing, the baby wouldn't be dancing everywhere. It would be black and blue. It would be bloodied. It would be missing an arm. It would have to be blurred out. It wouldn't even be a TV ad. But that's realistic, okay? Trading is a battlefield. The stock market is a battlefield. Leave that comment below if you understand that. Say, trading is a battlefield. The stock market is a battlefield. I'm your drill sergeant. I'm here to prepare you so that you survive and if you study enough so that you thrive. That's the best uh, analogy that I can make. Some people say, why aren't I nicer? Because I'm your drill sergeant. I'm not here to be nice. If you think that someone uh, who is being nice is there to help you, you're wrong. Promoters are the nicest people around, okay? They'll never admit to what's actually going on. They'll never say how evil this industry is. They'll just say, oh no, this is, Sykes is flawed or like he's too cynical. No, I've been around for 20 plus years. I know what nice promoters do to innocent people. So you have this optimism, you get this excitement and you get this thrill and euphoria. This is the first four stages of like a pump and dump. Promoters get everybody all excited, whether it's a new drink, um, you know, I, it sounds weird to say that, but this is what LTNC was. It was supposed to be like this amazing new energy drink um, or hydration drink, my bad, not energy. Um, but whether it's a new drink, whether it's a cancer treatment, whether it's like a gold find in Peru, whether it's some new mobile technology or this new app, all of these four emotions are heavily, heavily promoted by penny stock promoters. Um, and the stock price usually rises, okay? This is what happens because everyone's all excited, everyone's buying, nobody is selling. Everybody is all excited about the future, why would you sell when you're in on the ground floor, right? Unfortunately, the pump only lasts so long. Some people start to say, wait a minute, these SEC filings don't look right, wait a minute, these people getting involved, they don't have like the best backgrounds. There's a little doubt. A promotion can only last for so long, this is why promoters don't like me, because I speed up the demise. I help educate people how this usually works, a few people do listen, a few people do study, they're selling, and it's only a few sellers that can end up collapsing a house of cards. And this is what happens. At first, if you see me on Twitter specifically, when I'm warning about pump and dumps, there's a lot of denial. I link to statistics, I link to SEC filings, I link to historical facts and documents galore, but they deny, 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 Sykes is evil. But then there's a little anxiety and fear starts to creep in. This happened with the marijuana stock investors. When I busted the wolf of Weed Street and all his pumps, 
And at first I was getting, I literally was getting death threats. Like you're evil, you want the companies to fail. I don't want any of these companies to fail. I don't want the stock prices to go lower. I want it to go higher. But then there's a little anxiety and fear creeping in. And guess what? I get to a few people because the stock starts to crash and then a few plants, a few doubts are planted in their minds. Um, and then as the stock crashes, there's depression, panic, and capitulation. I wouldn't even say, I mean, this isn't an exact science, this is a psychological chart. There's no real capitulation with penny stocks. I would take this one out and I would take this off. But as the penny stocks start to crash, this is what happens. They get very depressed and a few people panic. Um, this is what happens when you're being promoted to and it's all about excitement and then reality sets in and then it's all downhill. It's not always this simple, but this is a good, um, good example of what this is. I'm not even gonna go over this because penny stocks don't come back. This is the main chart that I'm looking at. I have another chart, check this out. So this is the second chart. This is more geared towards specifically what happens uh, with these stocks. The other one was just generalized, but this is basically what penny stocks look like. This is more accurate, where you have this whole little takeoff um, and you know this chart says you wanna buy before the mania. This is just a chart you can find on, on Google. This isn't my chart, um, but this is usually what happens and you get all this excitement. I wouldn't say media attention for penny stocks, I would say social media attention because the media usually doesn't cover penny stocks, but idiots and bots on social media make it look like there's a lot of attention and then there's a th enthusiasm and as the stock price rises, there's greed and delusion and a new paradigm. This specifically happens with penny stocks. I can't tell you how many different promoters get the stock up, they get everybody believing, because the stock is up and because everybody believes, they feel like they're all united. They feel like, you know, we're a group. Um, the Wolf of Weed Street, what did he have? Like the Wolf of Weed Street army, there was the LTNC army, there was the HMBL army, there was the Sponge Tech army. I mean, there's all these armies, but they're not real armies. It's all delusion, okay? This is why I have to make this video. I'll link below where you can see I go head to head against the Wolf of Weed Street. Luckily, a reporter was following him around. Then he came on to me and he was like, wait a minute, Sykes is actually right. And you'll actually be pretty surprised about this reporter kind of changing teams mid article uh, when he realizes that I'm right. It might be nearly a decade old, but it's the same pattern every time. Um, and you know, this again is, is not specifically with, with penny stocks. Usually it's just one big crash. There's never really a return to normal. Um, usually there's just this whole delusion and new paradigm and then it's a little fear and then it's capitulation. And there is no more return to the mean. It usually just keeps going. Um, but this is how manias are created. This is like a psychological thing. This is from Dr. Jean-Paul Rodriguez, Direct Department of Global Studies and Geography at Hofstra University. This is also Penny Stocks Pump and Dumps 101. Um, it's based on human psychology. So when some people say like, why do you know what you're teaching is gonna work in the future? Because human psychology doesn't change. There's always gonna be new pump and dumps, there's always gonna be new promoters, there's always gonna be new scams. People always fall for this. The key is education. This is why I teach, okay? The SEC, the authorities, they can try to shut down every promoter. There's always gonna be a new one popping up. But if I can educate enough newbies, and I'm not saying that you should never trade this. I'm saying just beware of how pumps work. By all means, trade it on the way up. Some of my biggest gains have been buying pumps on the way up, knowing that they're pumps and just exiting before this, or knowing that they're pumps and seeing this and shorting anywhere near the top. You can trade this kind of predictable pattern. Um, in fact, I think it's actually easier. I think it's actually better, actually best, if you have a small account and you're aware of how this works. Click some links below, study up more about pumps, leave a comment below. Let me know if this video helped you a little bit psychologically. I'm gonna have to link it again and again, every new pump that comes up. Um, I understand if you find me through this video and you don't believe me and you're gonna give me death threats because you think I'm against you, I'm not. I just wanna educate you how the world works, how pumps work. Um, in a past life, when I was mainly a short seller, I would go very hard against the promoters. Now, it's like love-hate. It's, it's the gift and it's the curse. I have to expose how pumps work and how there's mass delusion and how it hurts newbies, but every new pump is also a gift. 
Because if you know how it's going to play out, if you know how it ends, you can trade it along the way. Just don't fall for the hype, okay? Trade the pump, just don't believe the hype. That's the key. My top students and I often trade these pumps. We laugh when there's like mass delusion uh, on social media or bots or promoters and they're just hyping it up when we know the ugly reality. We know how it's going to end. But again, think about it. If you're reading a book and you know the ending, if you're watching a movie and you know the ending, you have an advantage over everybody else who doesn't know the ending. We know how these pumps end, every single one of them. We don't know exactly how high they can go. I oftentimes underestimate how high these pumps can go, especially in 2020 In 2021, I underestimated a lot. I still made a million dollars each year. I still donate all my trading profits because for me, it's not just about the trading profits, it's teaching you the process. This is another reason why I donate my trading profits because I don't want you to understand, I don't want you to think that like, I'm a part of this. It doesn't do me any good if I profit a lot on trading these. It doesn't hurt me if I lose. I'm trying to give unbiased information because I want you to learn these patterns. I want you to learn the process. The process is real. And whether, you know, what these promoters do is legal or illegal, I'm not a lawyer, okay? I'm not trying to say that these are scams that need to be shut down. All I'm saying is that they're promoting these stocks, these pumps, these ideas to newbies who don't know any better that always, always ends badly. So use this predictable chart pattern to your advantage. Watch out for promoters. Watch out for groupthink. Watch out for delusions. This is going to go on and again and so many times, so many different sectors. I'll point to this video. Click some links below. Study up. The more you study, the better prepared, the better your odds of success in the future. Stay safe. Stay woke. Ride the pump. Just never believe it.